Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates. I have a quick VR I want to do. Um, it's for Debbie Vignola and she is having a 2,000 subby challenge giveaway. Um, she is up to 2,000 subscribers. So that's a great milestone. I'm not surprised though. She has a wonderful channel and she's a great supporter of crafters in the crafting community here on YouTube and she's definitely supported my challenges so I wanted to join in on hers. Um, I did a gypsy book a while back and she's doing a gypsy book but doesn't have a lot of the rich colors for um, gypsy theme so she's asking for trims in those nice rich colors. I happen to have a bunch left over so I just thought I'd share with you what I'm gonna send her. First I made her a card with a pretty gypsy on the cover. It's got some matte paper and some pretty little, um, these are actually Tim Holtz kind of embellishment stickers that I found and um, just a little flower there. I just kind of made it a bit whimsical. I put some pieces of a green organza bag sticking out too. And then on the inside, it's just like this. I'm not sure I'll write in the actual card. Um, and then oh, I made, I copied some fabric gypsy images for her and put them in the envelope there. So there's a card for her. And then I altered a little box um, with some tissue paper that I actually copied the image onto uh, tissue paper, right? With I put fabric in the copier and copied it onto the tissue paper. Um, it didn't absorb the ink really well, so I have a little blotch, but other than that, it worked out pretty well. And I put some um, paper trim around the edges. And then on the inside, I put more of that matte paper. And then I loaded the box with as much of the rich colors the blingy appliques, there's velvet, um, there's feathers and dangle trim, and there's a sequiny fabric. So there's all kinds of fun little treasures in here as well as fabric flowers that I made for her um, in some rich dark colors. But I won't show you everything. I'm going to let Debbie decide to do that. Um, so I will just tie this back up in this kind of shabby bow, which she could use as well. Let me get it on here, right? Um, in, in the journal if she chooses to. Just gently tie it so it's not in a knot. And then I have another little flower embellishment that I'm going to stick on there, which she could also use. Oh, I forgot to put the appliques back, but that's okay. I'll do that in a minute. And then I'm sending her a bag of really colorful trims that I had left over. I have some uh, Chinese braid and burgundy and some in the nice tan color. There's some um, corded burgundy flower trim with silver. There's some uh, bead, dangle beads. Yeah, there's several things. This is sequin black trim. And then I also have uh, another fabric flower with some, some dangles that she could use on a tag or in the journal. And then even the little butterfly uh, applique she could put on a tag if she wants to. So those are the trims that I'm going to include. And I also have a bag of bling and there's all kinds of flowers and possible flower centers. Oops. There's some bells I think in here. I just picked all kinds of things I thought would be nice in a gypsy book. So I am going to get all of this ready to go in the mail for Debbie. It's actually ready. I'm going to wrap it in tissue paper and get it in the box or the bag. And so I just wanted to show you that I'm going to participate and I'm going to leave a link to her channel in case you'd like to participate as well. I hope you do. You can go over to her channel and check it out. 
and congratulations Debbie on 2,000 subscribers and I look forward to seeing all the wonderful things that you gather up but I especially look forward to seeing your beautiful gypsy book once you get it finished so thanks for watching everybody and I will see you again in another video bye